Tatiana is a platform for researchers who want to analyse computer-mediated interactions. It's based on the idea that analysis is an iterative process, whereby researchers enrich their data with analysis artefacts such as annotations and so on. Tatiana's main innovation is the ability to manage a kind of artefact we call a replayable, which is an event-based representation of the data, created either automatically or by hand by the researcher. The Tatiana corpus is composed of traces, which are the data files created outside of Tatiana, such as video recordings, computer action log interaction log data, transcriptions, and so on. From these, researchers could use Tatiana to create replayables and analyses. Creating a replayable automatically is done using filters, which transform data in any XML format into a format that Tatiana can understand. Here we use a filter to import a transcription done in Elan. The result is a row for each utterance, with any, each row having any number of properties, uh, depending on the data, the original data. Tatiana replayables can be visualized in tabular form, with each row corresponding to an event. Here we have a representation of interactions in a shared text editor, and each row corresponds to characters being added or deleted. But replayables can also be visualized as what we call a score sheet, which is a graphical visualization with time on the horizontal axis and each event being visualized as a graphical object. These representations can be synchronized, allowing switching from one view to the other. Selecting a bar in the graphical representation will highlight the line, the matching line in the table, and vice versa. In this way, interesting patterns in visualizations can be linked back to the source data. The score sheet is generated automatically according to rules. We can add a new rule which says that when the user is sick, the position should be 20 pixels further down. This adds itself to previous rules which said that six events should be red and Clemence should be blue. Currently, rules can be set to determine the position, colour, shape and size of each event. Not only can Tatiana synchronise replayables with each other, but it can also synchronise replayables with other data such as video. Here we open a transcription and the video the transcription is based on. We can then synchronize the two uh, and this will open a video player and a remote control. You can navigate through the video either by selecting lines in the transcription or by using the remote control to play, select or pause. Tatiana can not only pilot uh, video but also what we call tool replayers. These are external software that are based on the tool that was used to generate log data and that can read this data and uh, regenerate what the user saw on screen. This takes up a lot less space both on disk uh, and uh, on the screen than the screen captures. Here we can see a shared text editor synchronized with the matching Tatiana replayable where you can see the actual effect of three characters removed near Santi. This is very useful to give meaningful context to log data, which is often difficult to understand. Putting all this together, we can synchronize a transcription, row data from a log file, video, and the shared text editor together in order to fully understand this session, which is a meeting between two students in the t in, and their tutor. In the shared text editor, the students are taking notes of what the teacher is saying. In this study, we're interested in how what the tutor says gets reformulated in the shared text editor. As you can see, each row from the shared text editor comes from only a few characters being added. We're interested in a much higher level of granularity and would like to create a replayable which shows some kind of writing unit. The first thing we did was write a filter, or automatic transformation, which detects breaks in typing of more than a certain number of seconds and creates blocks based on these breaks. It turns out that around 12 seconds is a good metric for indicating that we've moved to a new writing unit. We can synchronize the newly generated replayable with the original data and the original replayable. While this automatically created replayable is close to what we wanted, it's not quite correct. So we decided to create a replayable by hand, which represents these writing units. We can select any number of events. And then we have Tatiana create a new event at a high level of granularity. This is typically the kind of analysis artifact which Tatiana is designed to generate. It's created by hand, but it's fully in integrated, including the ability to synchronize it with the rest of the data, to visualize it as a score, 
and to annotate and categorize it. In Tatiana, creating a new analysis, which can be a type of annotation or of categorization, creates a new file, uh, which creates a new column in each um, uh, in all the replayables. So what we did next is create an analysis where we label each writing unit in the note taking and then we take the transcription and we gave the same label to the utterance and transcription which resulted in that particular note being taken. After doing that to the whole session we created a replayable that combines the transcription and the writing units and visualized it. We put the transcription on the top line and the writing units at the bottom. We then took the colours we defined in our analysis in order to be able to see reformulation. The red writing unit on the bottom line is a reformulation of the red utterance in the transcription on the top. This enables us to see interesting phenomena to glance, such as this inversion, where the reformulation does not occur in the same order as the utterance. We can then use Tatiana to delve deeper into the data to see what happened. This diagram shows the workflow that was used in Tatiana to create that final visualization. As you can see, replayables can be created and transformed either automatically or by hand. They can be annotated and categorized, merged together, visualized as a table or as a graphical representation, synchronized with each other and with external replayables such as video and tool replayers, and finally can be shared with other researchers or exported to any other format such as Excel. Tatiana is open source software and is designed to handle pretty much any kind of data. Send us an email to see how you can get your data into Tatiana.